Uh, we're looking at mostly clear skies for tonight, but let's review today. It was cold and it was breezy, but at least we saw the sun. So, you know, there's always good with the bad. Uh, we had peak wind gusts at 26 miles per hour in the Richmond area. Actually, everyone had our peak wind gusts around 22 at the most. It looks to be 29 miles per hour in parts of Virginia Beach. Currently, it's still breezy outside. Wind speeds are ranging from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Winds will start to calm down within the overnight hours, but let's get a look at your temperatures currently. Right now, 33 in Richmond, 32 in Ashton, 31 in Louisa, and 33 in Chester, and uh, 34 in Petersburg. So, taking the final walk for the dog, or maybe you just want to Take a quick little loop around the neighborhood. I don't blame you. <laughs> we're looking at clear skies for tonight, and we're actually going to continue to see clear skies for tomorrow, too, as this high pressure system remains in control. Unfortunately, this starts to move towards the east of us, and we're looking at some cloud cover moving in for the later portion of the day tomorrow. But as long as it's in control, looking at clear skies tonight, it is going to be a cold one. Temperatures in the overnight hours in the teens. For tonight. Now, tomorrow will be a touch warmer than today. You're looking at highs ranging from the upper 30s to lower 40s. Again, maintain mostly sunny skies. Cloud cover will start to build in in the late evening hours ahead of our Monday system. Yes, we are have another chance of dealing with some more rain showers throughout the area. So if we're going to start off Monday morning in the early morning hours, predominantly dry, but we do have cold air that will be in place. So we could likely see a bit of a wintry mix for areas northwest of the direct Richmond metro area. However, temperatures do warm up above freezing, so all of us will see that transition to rain showers as a cold front will sweep across the area for Monday afternoon. We're looking at dry conditions returning by Monday evening, and also clouds start to clear out rather quickly. The middle of next week will be sunny, and wow, it is going to be quite warm as well. We're looking at our warmest day to likely be on Wednesday. This will be our warmest day since January 2nd. Do you remember that really warm start to the new year? Well, we have another chance of seeing those 60 degree temperatures return to the area. So as far as the rest of your weekend, it's going to be a cold start to tomorrow morning. Keep that in mind. Uh, but by the afternoon hours, you're looking at sunshine highs in the upper 30s to low 40s. And then your temperatures just continue to rise as we head into the middle of next week. We do have a dry cold front crossing over the area on Thursday and could likely see a system on Friday. We'll keep a close eye on that Friday chance.